All right, hopefully this quick video on how you would recolor the iRacing base temp or base paint schemes in GIMP. I'm gonna try and make this quick. I was just screwing around with it, trying to figure it out. I'm gonna use the BMW M hybrid. <clears throat> so hopefully it's, I am able to do this pretty easily. All right, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn off every layer except for the patterns here you can click the little plus sign that'll open up all your patterns i'm gonna delete all these until i find what i want to do uh let's go with this one this is a pretty basic one so i'm actually just because i'm a nitpicker i'm gonna delete every other pattern you don't need to do this but all right so I'm going to click on my layer here. I'm going to click channels. You're gonna, you see three different things. R, G, B. Red, green, blue. So you'll, you see that these uh, have a dark box when they're, I guess, active. So unselect all of them. Right click red. Click channel to selection. You'll see it'll pop this up. Go back to layers, create a new layer. I'm gonna name it whatever. And I'm gonna right click it. I'm gonna click add layer mask. I'm gonna do selection and I'm gonna hit add. You'll see it'll pop up a little transparent box here. I'm gonna go back here, go back to channels, right click green, channel to selection. Back to layers, new layer, right click, add layer mask, selection, and one last time, go back here, channels, right click blue, channel to selection, layers, new layer, right click, add layer mask, selection. Now I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this. So now I need to go back to channels and I need to reactivate all these. So that has dark box around it. So they're all active. And then you'll see two different boxes. The uh, box on the left is going to be just like a main fill color. And then the box on the right is what the mask actually looks like. The white that you see in that little small image is going to be what uh, what gets filled in. The black sections are uh, masked off, essentially. I'm going to actually reorder these so that the main part, like the there's more white in this one, so that's going to be, I want that to be under everything. I'm going to go here. I'm going to click my left box. I'm going to hit my little bucket fill tool. I have just some crazy colors. So let's say I want to do a gray. So I'm going to go with this gray here. I'm just going to flood fill. Oh, hold on. I need to unselect everything. So get rid of it so it's not, so the whole thing's selected. Go back to your flood. Click. And that's just going to do everything that's masked off. So then my first detail color, I'm gonna flip flop between these two. You can also press X on your keyboard and it'll switch between the two. But I want my detail color to be red here. That'll fill that in. And then the last one is gonna, you can see the transparent area. It's pretty much the pin striping on here. Let's say I wanna make that, let's just do white for ease we'll click and there you go that is how you do it for you can do that for all those different uh patterns it's a little bit easier to do in photoshop at least to me i'm just more fluid doing it but that is the basics on how you do it hopefully you can watch this video a few times it's less than five minutes and uh, that'll help you open up your repertoire of paint schemes without you having to actually do the main painting yourself, but you can still use your custom logos and whatnot on. And some of the, like, I would say 80% of the iRacing schemes are kind of eh, but there's a few of them that are pretty basic. And uh, 
it worked pretty good. So anyways, later.